Now, I've already made a video about this, and I said that it's making me sad. It made me just as sad as when I saw Gargura at the Dodgers. And it's not because I have anything against Genshin Impact or Gargura, but it's due to the fact that Disney should have been there. Th this commercial is literally Disney magic. L like, this is how I would view Disney in 20 years when I was 14. But unfortunately, they're not capable of making this, right? Like, they're not capable of surpassing this. They're not capable of being at this level. So all the Matt Walsh's and other right-wingers that hate and despise anime, you got nothing but America to blame. There is no competition. Like, anime isn't fantastic. Genshin Impact isn't a revolutionary game. You guys used to have Disney. You guys used to have World of Warcraft. Where are they? I mean, someone is going to have to fill the hole in the market. People do want entertainment, and there is literally nothing to pick from. So, this is why Genshin Impact, this is why Gargura, this is why anime is popular. And it wasn't always the case. I said this in a previous stream. I remember back when anime was even better than it is now. It was even more gory with more fan service. And I would tell someone, it's like, hey, uh, do you want to watch anime? And they would be like, what is that? And I'm like, well, it's Japanese animation. Here, let me show you some Dragon Ball. And they would be like, no, that looks lame. That's for kids. I, I, I like Battlestar Galactica. I like Stargate. Right? Because, like, people actually like American products. And it is incredibly sad to see what's happening with Disney. But I'm not surprised. I mean, uh, there, there were leaks. And there were hidden camera interviews coming out from, like, the people organizing Disney. And trust me, entertainment seems to be like the last of their priorities. I, I, I bet they don't even have people in a room that are talking with and they're like, okay, well, what, what is selling? Like, like, I know what our gender experts are telling us to sell, but like, what is actually selling? What do people buy? And, and they would be like, well, they're buying Stellar Blade, they're buying, uh, you know, Korean shit, and they're, they're buying like Chinese stuff. It's like, okay, well, what? Can we not make that? Like, do we not have the technology? It's like, well, yeah, we do, but we don't have the talent and the, the diversity officer lady doesn't allow us to do it because she considered it sexismus and misogynismus. So, so now the parks are falling, right? Like, first the entertainment is falling and then the parks are falling. Now, now it's easy to explain why the parks are falling, um, at least from a European perspective. No one wants to go to France, especially not Paris, okay? Like, there are places in France where I would recommend people visit, but do not go to Paris. I mean, we're already seeing with the Olympics, they're getting people to swim in shit. Uh, they're, they're starving the athletes with their green environmentalist stuff. Like, like, the British team had to bring a chef from fucking Britain because, like, France, which was the country of cuisines, can't fucking cook now. All jokes aside, though, like, I have seen people traveling to France, especially Paris, and the first question that they ask is, like, okay, but, like, where's the French, and, and why is the city filled with garbage? Like, why is there trash everywhere? So, so like, the, the idea of visiting France is, is like, already far-fetched, uh, but, but then you're going to the park, and, and to see what? What? Like, like, what exactly is it that Disney is making that is worth seeing? What do I want to see there? Like, Mickey Mouse? I haven't seen Mickey Mouse on TV since I was a kid. The attractions? Like, what attractions? What, what exactly do they have that is worth seeing? Like, at this point, I would rather just make a trip to Japan. Or make a trip to China. Or, or you know, go to Asia and see something more exotic. Like, why exactly would I go to Disney? Like, Disney managed to successfully brand itself as the gay company. And I'm not saying this as a pejorative. But, but, like, their strong support to the LGBT community got them in, uh, in a struggle with Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida. And they have actually succeeded in making it so that the approval rating of a politician was directly tied to how much it was fucking with Disney. Like, I, I looked at this before the elections. I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure, like, Disney is very happy that the election season came because, like, Ron DeSantis stopped fucking with them. But, but like, if, if you were to look at the approval ratings... When Ron DeSantis was finding a way to mess with Disney, his approval would go up. And if Disney managed to find a way to get themselves out of the conundrum, the, Ron DeSantis' approval would go down. So, like, they literally tied the public. Like, the public opinion was, like, supporting the politician that hates Disney the most. 
And this is because, like, they, they took a stand and uh, they were against, like, the Florida legislator and the lawmaker. And, and they were like, no, 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 we, we don't allow this type of legislation. And it's like, you're an entertainment company. What the fuck are you doing talking about social issues? Like, maybe once your entertainment is at par with God, what I guess should impact and it's selling, that, then maybe you can open your mouth and you can complain. But as you can see, yeah, the, the theme part. So, like, number one, the, the geographic area. Like, who the fuck wants to go to France? Uh, number two, who wants to see Disney anymore? And number three, I mean, you know, like, the social commentary as well, like, removing the kiss from uh, Sleeping Beauty and all that shit. I don't agree with your takes. I don't think the stories that I grew up with are misogynistic. Like, fuck you. Who are you to lecture me and my kids about uh, fairy tales? So th th that is like the first problem. Uh, and finally, apparently the rides are also problematic, right? So while Disney predicted a moderation in demand on its theme park business in coming quarters, uh, overshadowing the success of the animated uh, series Pixar Inside Out 2 and the company television business. The company's stock was down 1.1% Wednesday, and Disney warned operating income that the parks would be down mid-single digits. This is really bad, by the way. Like, just so you can understand, when I was growing up, like, maybe you're a, you're a new generation, right? Like, you're Generation Z or some shit watching this. But when I was a kid, Disney was the thing. Like, it, it was the shit. Like, it was the dream of every single child. To go and see Disney. Like, like to, to, to even consider going that it was a dream come true. And even I said, you know, before I die, before I pass away, I want to go to France and see Mickey Mouse. Not anymore, though. No, it's, it's like one of the wishes that I'm like, I, 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 I want to have a time machine now so I can go back in the past and smack myself. Uh, we expect to see a flattish revenue in, uh, see, in in the fourth quarter, and Chief Financial Officer said uh, it's uh, really just a few quarters. I don't think uh, I would refer to it as protracted. Yeah, you know, imagine like talking to the investors and not trying to soften it up. Like, <laughs> uh, analysts said weakness uh, at Disney's parks uh, coming uh, on the time of consumer spending has been uh, pitched by inflation. Underscores worried about the slowing U.S. economy. Uh, coupled with other travel restrictions, blah, blah, blah. There, there, there's always a reason. Did you notice that? It's always a fucking reason. It's never wokeness. It's, a, it's always some other reason. Like, literally anything else besides wokeness. Has there ever been, like, a woke company that came out and said, Yeah, we kind of fucked up. We know, like, we, we did have, like, some bad social issues that we, we shouldn't have tackled. And, I mean, Bud Light didn't blame it on wokeness. Gillette didn't blame it on wokeness. Disney is not blaming it on wokeness. Not a single fucking company is going to blame it on wokeness. But what I notice is that no company is blaming the success on wokeness either. So uh, Disney was ahead in schedule in delivering profitability in streaming, which is a major milestone. Yeah, it's interesting how like all these people don't have money to go to the parks, but they have money to buy the streaming. Isn't that fascinating? And I'm willing to bet that if the streaming wouldn't have worked, they would also blame the economy. Anyway, right, uh, let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.